Great. We're looking for leadership. That's Climate change groups hold signs outside of the nunciature, eager to show the Pope they're on board with his environmental mission. He ought to not hold back. He ought to tell them to take action on climate now in, in you know, keeping with his encyclical message. But this is no time to mince words. The Congress has to be told to step up to the plate. It's just that bad. The group Interfaith Moral Action on Climate hopes the Pope will make climate change and the environment at the center of his message to Americans. I am so concerned that the changing climate is going to destroy not only my children and grandchildren, but in fact the entire economic infrastructure of the world. Pope Francis has warned that failing to act could turn the earth into an immense pile of filth. He's a really important time when there's hardly any leadership on climate change, and he's the one taking the lead. And I think as a result, he's attracting a lot of attention all around the world. Pope Francis has linked climate change to environmental degradation and human suffering. I haven't really read an encyclical or been interested in any pope until Pope Francis. Uh, and I think the reason is, is because he's speaking to the reality of today. And the reality of today is a worldwide climate crisis that's affecting the poor more than anybody else. Pope Francis will be addressing Congress on Thursday. That's where the public hopes he'll be talking about his climate change encyclical. In Washington, D.C., for the BU News Service, I'm Christina Ernie.